during the course of the season. Now, the numbers on Porter have been quite good, Dick, but again, he hasn't played this kind of competition. Kenny Anderson making an adjustment in midair. Munlin trying to tonight is ailing a bit. Oh, I'm battling. Little, little congestion from that 15 below chill factor we've got outside. Dennis Scott with the tray, and we're tied at three. Barnes, great jumping ability to block shots from out of New York City. Porter shadowing Anderson, and now Munlin forces one up. That's it's taken away by Anderson. The quick hands of Kenny Anderson on the inside. Oh. And the beat kept going on. Dwayne Farrell, Tommy Hammonds. Five ACC Rookies of the Year he's had. Anderson could be the sixth. Tim Brando with Dick Vitale. We're at the Hartford Civic Center, the ACC Big East Challenge. Oliver. This time Porter stripped by oh, Anderson. what a play. What an and unbelievable foul play. foul against Porter. What an unbelievable play, Timmy. Born with a ball in his hands. Great change of direction. He's such a quick offensive rebounder for a little guy, too. Now watch this play right here. Watch the change of direction. Mm. There he goes around the back. Splits the defense. Hangs in the air. Just like he did at Archbishop Malloy, where he's the most heralded player in the history of New York City. I know you would never compare him to Chris Jackson because they're so different, but that particular play with the ball is something that Jackson can do. Kenny Anderson came out of Archbishop Malloy High as the most highly touted player out of New York City since the Pearl. Anderson broke New York State scoring record with over 2,600 points, became the first player named all New York City first team four straight seasons. He teamed up with St. John's Robert Wardan, and they battled Malik Seeley and Malloy's biggest rival, Tolentine, for the city championship. Kenny Anderson, something special now in the ACC. And there he is, looking inside. Carl Brown swinging it over to Kenny, and Oliver from deep. Sonny Smith a few years ago, transferring after Sonny went to Virginia Commonwealth. He has to sit for one season for Clemens. And Kenny Anderson, right on cue, answers the three, finds Martin, and he missed the slam. Well, what a pass by Darrell Porter. Good look by Darrell. Look at that pass. Oliver. You check that pass out. That's my guy from New York City, Kenny Anderson. His defensive play as well. He has really been something for Georgia Tech. But it's spinning in the lane. Anderson! Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, Take a look at this play right here, Dick. It was something special. Scott got it started again off the defensive end. Well, Dennis kicks it out. Now watch this spinning, pinning move. He spins down the lane. He's whirlish. There he is. I tell you, I just love watching his driving ability. He's a tremendous slashing kind of player. We look at Kenny Anderson. He had so much hype coming out of high school. And a lot of people say, well, too much publicity on these young kids. As long as they keep score, and you can judge after all these games what is the better conference. It's ultimately at the end when it all counts. When you start playing down in March. And, uh, nice pass inside. Kenny Anderson. But what it does, Dick. In many cases, they're not even admitted. And then it's embarrassing later. Porter couldn't get it there, and now Anderson leading the charge without the numbers. Out of control, but it doesn't matter. His quickness he makes up for it. Billy have them investigate and look into that situation. But again, like I said earlier, I don't knock him for signing those players early, because in this game, you got to win. Here's Scott knocking that down. I'll tell you, when he starts to give him some quality minutes, he's an active player for a big guy inside. Scott, oh, it's just automatic. It's just automatic when he pots up. Oh, it won't fall, and Scott retrieves it for Georgia Tech. Another three on two. Oh, what a great play. Great two balls. Hook, and it won't drop. Watch this, Kenny's got great eyes. Got great eyes. Whoa! Counted, and the foul! Explosive. Open court player, explosive. He's going to have him shaking and baking, dancing in the aisles down in Atlanta, Georgia. Here he comes. His eyes are up. He's thinking pass, doesn't find the open man, takes it right through three people, kicks it off the glass with the left hand, and Paparo says, count it, <laughs> Dickey. Mackey coming back into the game, number 32 in white. They think he's got great potential. He's got good touch. He just has to learn how to play the game, making a big transition coming out of the scholastic ranks. He was rated 1-2 out of the state of Tennessee with Orlando Lightfoot, who signed with Oklahoma, is now playing at, I think it's uh, Hiawassee Junior College out of Tennessee, where also Eric Manuel is. Morningstar sitting down as Johnson is coming to the game. Gilbert Johnson, the senior from Conway, South Carolina. You see Anderson's numbers. 
at times not getting back defensively I really think both clubs have a deficient area in their defensively ab defensive ability in transition and we take a look again here numbers constantly there's Scott kicking it out getting it right back a little give on little give and go but basketball one of the oldest plays in back looking to get the ball to key people Martin left alone Oliver's airborne and it's finally ripped out of there by Anderson. Where he excels. Oliver on the three on two. And the foul against Kavanaugh. They got a great three-man front four, back four. When you talk about Oliver, Scott, and Anderson. Tech could tie the game if they convert the three-point try. Here comes Kenny Anderson. He doesn't force the action. Head up all the time. Kicks the ball out to Oliver. Oliver, an excellent driver. He just seems so much more comfortable this year where he doesn't lay it. And it's Scott with the rebound. Kenny Anderson. That's, oh. a freshman. That's a freshman. Forget about it. He's not a freshman. He's played so much basketball. 